Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm doing my own nails. Um, I'm going away, as I've mentioned in previous videos, um, on Saturday, which means that I need a new fresh set because I've had these blue ones on for three weeks now, um, which is not like me. I don't usually last that long, but I absolutely loved this blue set. Like I had so many compliments on them and they were literally just plain painted glitter blue. Um, so just goes to show you don't have to do anything too extravagant like people will still notice them and love them but anyway i'm just taking these off with my green smoothie bit from willow academy um i did have full-on tips on with build gel underneath so i didn't go too crazy because obviously there wasn't a lot of product there anyway and then the tiniest bit of product that i did leave over i did soak off in some acetone for literally like three minutes because there was hardly anything there it soaked off really quickly and then i'm just going in with this bit which is from I have no idea where this is from. I think it might be Lily Bow. I think. I don't know. I can't even remember whether that's the name of the brand. If that's a brand name, then that's where I got it from. I've got some sanding bands from there as well. Um, so I'm just going in with this one here. The bit, like, if you can see chunks coming off, like it's not chunks of nail. I'm not being really aggressive. It is slightly sped, sped up. Um, it is literally just like little bits of build gel that are left over. I didn't really bother getting every last bit off um, because I knew that my prep would get the tiny bits off that were left instead of me scraping my nail, nail plate when I didn't need to. So I'm just going in with this. I'm using it on reverse now to go the other way to make sure that my cuticles are pushed back and there's no excess like dead skin on the nail plate that's going to cause lifting for when I do my set. So I'm just doing that and then obviously that will have pushed all my cuticles back which will have lifted it up ready for me to nip them. So that's what I'll do next. And then once I've done that we can go in with uh like prepping the actual nail plate itself with a sanding band i just use the 240 grit um i know some people say that 240 is too like too smooth and i know that some people say that they wouldn't use anything other than a 240 so it's just one of those things i suppose that we're never really going to agree on i am absolutely fine with the 240 and never have any lifting or anything um but each to their own if you can't get on with a 240 then use the 180 that's fine but i definitely wouldn't do anything other than a 180 like that's the absolute highest i'd go uh so yeah i'm just using this gently on the nail plate it's literally on like 6,000, well, it might be 5,000. i can't remember but like five six thousand rpms like it's really really low um and i'm just using this in the same way that i'd use a nail file like i'm just going over gently i'm not putting any pressure on at all just letting the actual sanding band itself do the work which i would do with a hand file as well and then once I've roughed all the surface up, I'm then just going to go quickly with a nail file, like hand file, shape the nails really quick because they're all a bit jagged because I've cut them all down. Uh, and then I can nip my cuticles, then we can go in with tip application.
So after this stage, I'm going to go in with tip application. I'm going to be using some coffin tips. I'm pretty sure are from eBay, but I'm not 100% because I just, I, I put all my tips in different boxes and I never know where they're from, but I'm pretty sure they're from uh, Amazon. They're really, really handy because the, the length that they are like naturally without cutting them down is actually a really beautiful length, but I just can't use them. I'm not going to lie. Like I don't get on really well with really, really long nails. So I just kept them at like a usable length for me. I wanted them longer than usual because obviously I'm going away. So I'm going to be out of work for any, for a week so I can make the most of them. But I didn't want them that long where they were just going to get on my nerves in the holiday because that would just annoy me. But look, they are a beautiful length. So you can definitely, if you are like good at using long nails, you could definitely just get away with keeping them how they are because they are a lovely length and shape. Um... But yeah, I just cut them down. So I just, I think I cut them down off camera because it's a nightmare to do that on camera. Um, but then obviously we can get straight into application once I have put them on, cut them down and filed them to shape. So I got this really recently, it literally came like two days ago, um, but obviously I've not been very well, so I've not been had a chance to use it yet. My nails are already supposed to have been done by this stage, by the way, this part of the week. I am voiceovering this on Friday morning and I literally go away tomorrow. Um, I did them really late last night, but needs must. I was ill on Wednesday, that was when I was supposed to do them, so I couldn't really do anything about it with an ear infection. So I'm just going in with, um, what is this? Is it? Hmm, what is it? Is it eggshell? I don't think eggshell's of name. Maybe it is. I don't know. I can't remember which one this is, but it's an absolutely beautiful core powder from Tears Beauty. And it's got a really, really slight shimmer in it. I think it might be called eggshell. Hmm, I've got a bit blank. I think that's it. If it comes back to me and it's not that, like during the video, then I'll let you know. But I think that's what it's called. And I don't know how I didn't notice that I'd got it. Like it's been in, I've got all of the core powders from Tears Beauty and they've all been like in my drawer for ages, but I automatically just reach for Apricot Crush or Naked because I love both of those. But yeah, I just randomly picked this one up, um, like a bit by accident the other day to do a client's infill with it. And I was like, oh my God, this has got a shimmer in it. How have I never noticed that I've got this? Because it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I just, I use this all the time now. I absolutely love it. But obviously I'm going to be painting over it. So it's a bit of a waste of time, but I'm going to be doing, I'm only showing you this nail of a full nail of like just normal acrylic application because obviously I do the same, well, pretty much the same on every nail. You could do it in less beads. You could do it in more. It's up to you what works best for you, but this is what works for me. So that's what I do. Um, but yeah, so I think this ring finger, my pinky and my thumb are just going to be like full nails of this core powder. And then the middle finger that I'm doing now and the index finger are going to be a full nail of the premix glitter, which is called Perfection, which is what I got in my most recent delivery from Tears. It is absolutely beautiful. I got three of them and it was really difficult to pick which one to use, but I'm quite glad I went with this one because it goes really well with the finished design. Um, but I'm just applying that to the middle nail and the index finger, making sure it's as flat as can be and that there's glitter obviously everywhere I need it. But I'm just making sure that I'm not working very thick because obviously I've got to encapsulate this as well. So just to make sure I did put a little tiny bit of eggshell underneath it, um, mainly just to protect my uh, natural nail and also create a bit of like strength underneath because obviously even though the premix glitter has clear acrylic in it it's still got glitter in it and I didn't want glitter to be directly on my nail bed because it might not adhere so well so that's why I did that but yeah so I'm just finishing this nail keep placing it down tiny tiny beads to make sure it's nice and full coverage and I can place every piece of glitter exactly where I want it and then once I've done that I will I think I go off camera to do the rest of the nails and then I will quickly come back to show you my filing routine, but it's literally just like a quick time lapse of filing. And then we can get in with the design, which is really nice and simple. But I'll talk to you next when we get to that stage.
So originally I decided to go with Pine Forest. I know green nails for me is unheard of, but I genuinely looked at this colour and I was like, that is beautiful. The only problem is it's really not very good coverage. I did two coats of it. Like I did this one, cured it, then did another one on the pinky and looked at it and just thought this is going to take like three or four coats and I really just don't have the patience because it was like one o'clock this morning by the time I got to this stage and I was just like, no, I'm not feeling it. So I decided to go with something else especially because I like glitter anyway and I did look at them and think I've only got two nails of glitter is that really enough so I did go in with the glitter instead but I'm just popping a little thin layer of foil me from Sparkle Supplies UK over the two nails that are glittery because we're going to be popping some foil on top and I'm going in now with this metal metal metallic green foil from Sparkle Supplies I did put a little bit too much on that like corner at the bottom right but I did remove a little bit just because it was a bit much but yeah I absolutely love how this turned out I don't know why I haven't thought of putting uh, foil on top of glitter before because it's just so effective I don't even know why I thought of it but I loved it I was going to put some stamped snowflakes on top but I decided not to because I just loved the look of the foil over the glitter it's just absolutely beautiful and so sparkly so then I'm going in with mistletoe magic from blue sky and I'm popping that over the original green that I'd put down of pine forest because it was the closest green glitter I'd got to it and it's really really good coverage so I just thought you know what I can get away with a coat like just one coat of that over the green so that's fine so I did that and then top coated and then that is literally it for this design like there's nothing more to it it's that simple but I love how they turned out I'm not usually a fan of green as you all know because I make it very clear quite often um but I really love how these turned out they're absolutely beautiful I just need to do my right hand now tonight um but i'll do that once i finish clients today so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this set um i actually love doing them i really love how they turned out i hope you like them as well thank you so much and i'll be back soon with another video bye